good afternoon rather it's good evening it's my honor and privilege to be here uh first of all my gratitude to mr rungta he was here i think he's he stepped out has he today make a call i'm sure he'll come back uh mr rungta turned around sale was the longest serving chairman of sale in a while continues to be relevant and be on company boards um and as judge the success of a person by his children luckily mr rungta's son is a friend of mine independently he runs the largest real estate fund in the country he runs hdfc capital which primarily invests in real estate so uh, we couldn't have had a better person than mr rungta to, to chair our bw people 40 under 40 jury at bw business world and all our communities whether in the hospitality domain on the cfo domain marketing domain the 27 domains that we are there we do every award through a jury process sometimes i'm a part of the jury sometimes i'm not part of the jury but everything we do is run through a process it's based on merit it is based on all the jury members agreeing on the awardee uh, awards are a lot about elimination so for this award also we started to get uh, uh, almost 300 entries we have to put it down to 9200 entry to be able to showcase it to the jury uh, in olden times we used to do jury meets physically face to face but we've done the jury meet uh, through zoom or whatever technology we use i just want to say why are awards important and tomorrow is our cfo awards our jury members will be here also mr sunandan bhaja choudhary is also here you know he is a friend of mine he gave me my first job in media that's how i came in the media sector i collaborate with him i have a easy relationship and a deep relationship with him mr rungta i was just thanking you for being our jury chair please give mr rungta a big round of applause uh i was coming from bombay i had in my other company exchange for media my annual business planning meet and uh I met somebody who was from the steel sector, and I mentioned to him that Mr. Rungta is going to be at our awards, and he was full of praise for Mr. Rungta. Uh, so thank you for chairing the jury. I know you had a dental uh, thing planned for today, and we changed the dates quite a bit. It's the wedding season, so first we have to ask the hotel guys if the hotel is available, and then we have to ask the jury chair and the chief guest. I was talking about our awards. You were the jury chair, and you know about about our awards. we do it through a jury process so i was at an event and uh, we're very proud of the way we do our awards i love all media companies because my first company is about the business of advertising i want all media companies all companies to do well whether media companies or not non media companies in life is about abundance what is destined for me and for all of us is destined so while we compete i think there is enough for all of us but i must say that we don't sell our awards in any sector i will say it loudly uh, because it does differentiate us and i'll not get into what who does what as i said i can say that i know the media sector as well as anybody or possibly better than anybody because my first business is on the business of media our awards have three layers one is our selection uh of the 90 or 100 people that we will get the jury to see then is the process of the jury members going through your profiles it is sent to them much in advance with comments some see it some don't see it that's how it is busy people on the jury so that's why the presentation matters again awards you may say in 2 minutes 3 minutes but average time spent after we say that it is 3 minutes is about 10 11 minutes okay the jury meets always we have to do another day um we started to break jury meets now in two days so that the 10 12 minutes can be spent how would you judge a person a professional in 10 12 minutes now as i said the jury process is also process of elimination second we make our recommendation third the jury members through their years of experience are quite capable of judging and selecting the right people having said that i must tell you instances where people i have believed in have not been able to go through the process and win because as they say in cricket that day they didn't bat well you know they were very good so if some of you applied were shortlisted and for some reason are not in the list then possibly on that day you did not play well it doesn't mean you're not good i must tell you that 
I tomorrow is our CFO awards, and I was at the last CFO awards that happened at the Lalit last year. And I met a person, and he made a very long speech, and he cried, and he said how he got an award from Business World in early part of his journey, six or seven years back, and how it helped him in his career. I think he was giving us too much credit. That is predestined. But fact is, right recognition through the right process with the right jury chair and the right jury members from a credible media company does can be a motivator, can be an encourager. Today we are awarding HR leaders who have shown promise, who have a proven track record, and who are leaders of future. Your HR leaders um, and Post Corona, a lot of things have stayed same. A lot has changed. I just want to say that our words have a lot of power. Once we realize the power of our words, we won't just say anything. When when we realize the power of our thoughts, you won't entertain just anything. And once you realize the power of your presence, you won't be just anywhere. Today you're here because uh, you genuinely believe that you want the right to be here through the kind of work you've done through the process and the potential for future that you represent. Now, I want to say that because I'm talking to a audience of HR leaders, uh, my only input to you is how many of you aspire to be CEOs? How many of you aspire to be CEOs? 70-80% of you, that's good. Um, I think more and more HR leaders are becoming CEOs. I have some friends who have become leaders of their organizations, whether CEOs or CEOs. And uh, more and more HR leaders are sharing the boardroom with other board members and are involved in strategic decisions of merger and acquisition, of culture integration, and more importantly, uh, what should be the strategic hiring decisions that should be made. Also, when you turn 40, some of you are not yet 40, you're close to 40. Uh, it's a tricky age. I've been there once. Uh, it's a tricky age. Sir, you think at 40, you'd know everything. You know, because you have 15 years, plus minus 2-3 years, depending on whether you worked before you went to a business school, whether you went to a business school. Then. So, it, you know, at 40, you feel, you know, we know what happens in the organization. I think the leaders who grow are people who are very inquisitive. While we, they know they know a lot, but they also know that they don't know what they don't know. We know what we know, but we don't even know what we don't know. We have blind spots. At 40, we also believe that we have the emotional maturity to be able to deal. Because HR is such, during COVID, HR had to play the role of a downsizer, of a counselor, and more importantly, of rehiring people and bringing them back to office again. I mean, it's a normal role, but post-COVID got it. So at 40, you may think you know everything. You know, I don't sing. Uh, I sing at events where you invite 1,000 people and five, you know, 2,000 come. Then I sing so that you're back to 1,000. But today is not that day. But I, it's a favorite band of mine. It's called UB40. Do you know why is the band UB40 called UB40? Does anybody know? Quizzer, yes. In the UK. Yeah, it's called Unemployment Benefit 40. And that's the, all the three members of the UB40 band were unemployed. So they have lots of songs that are popular there. Uh, Mr. Sunandan Banja Chaudhary is there. He made the mistake of hiring me in media. And uh, for the last 25 years, I have stayed in media and turned an entrepreneur. But uh, there is there are many songs that they have written and sung, and some of them are really popular. Most popular is Can't Help Falling in Love with You from the motion picture Sliver. Uh, then they have Red Red Wine. But the song that I love most is a song called Higher Ground. I won't sing it. I don't want you to run away. So don't worry. But I will tell you the lyrics. It says, Every day, every hour, I'm, every day, every hour, I'm learning more. The more I learn, the less I know. The less I know, the more I dig from the higher ground. At 40, you should have this attitude that I know very little. You know, I'm more than for 50. I turned 50 last year. And I feel life has just started. I now know what is right, what is wrong, how people behave, how should I deal with people. I'm more comfortable in my skin. I accept myself as I am. I know what to do. So I felt the same at 40. I'm sure I will feel the same at 60. 
right so life is a long lifelong journey but since you are hr leaders you make hiring decisions with ceos with the board i think post covid we realize self care for leaders is very important you know the quality of sleep no one talks about sleep in an hr conference or in any other conference in business the most important thing for success is peace is good quality sleep we take red eye flights that's not good If people can be rested, sleep well. I know no one talks about sleep. According to me, the most important thing to do well in life is good quality sleep. Second is empathy. Again, whether in the business school or throughout my career of almost three decades, we've been taught of empathy and being kind to others. I think sometimes we get too business-like. While we should be business-like, I think we should bring in a dash of kindness in everything we do, of forgiveness, of empathy. because when you forgive you may possibly create a better human being in the av of a, a partner it said growth is a function of opportunity i totally believe it one of the points i wrote down uh, a lot of times we hire from outside i genuinely believe a lot of talent exists in organizations if we give them opportunity they are likely to do better because they know the organizational culture better they also are more grateful for the opportunity and their integration with the existing teams is possibly easier when i acquired business world 9 years back i remembered what my obod professors taught me at mdi they taught me that culture change is very important and my first company exchange for media i was lucky enough to build it uh, like a rocket ship we built it like a leader in a span of 3 years so and we hired everyone that worked there so i never encountered a cultural issue because we built the culture from ground up but when we acquired business world i inquired the culture issue. you know i thought of the culture and i thought we'll be able to manage it well but i now value the thing i learned almost 29 years back in my business school that culture is the most important thing for the organization to do well each one of you because you are senior leaders middle level leaders depending upon the kind of organizations you work for i think how you conduct yourself creates role models for everyone hr is a very powerful function what an hr leader says to a colleague i talked about the power of words matters uh, what we say to someone matters especially hr head or a senior hr leader in a large organization says about the strengths and weaknesses of an individual it becomes an imprint on their soul because you are very senior you know you make operational decisions you just don't have helicopter view so when you give feedback i'm sure most of you are very considerate uh, when i was younger i used to give feedback very directly i still do it sometimes but i have learned to be softer kinder and sometimes not prove a point i'm saying this because i do meet a lot of promoter ceo of very large organizations in my role and i have lots of entrepreneur friends uh, who have had the same realization and they believe kindness gets a better organization going i want to end by saying the future leaders of tomorrow especially in hr are the ones who aspire to be business leaders you already are that's why you're doing your function well some of you express the desire to be a ceo how does one make a transition from a hr leader to a ceo simply understanding business goals and making decisions that go beyond the narrow understanding sometimes of hr second sustainability the biggest thing after covid is in our lives embracing sustainability third is being entrepreneurial in organization increasingly we will have to deal with lesser resources in everything even if our organizations are abundant you can be a leader beyond an hr leader if you're entrepreneurial fourth very important is when you create other leaders uh, which you do in your role as hr leaders fifth is to be able to give ideas that are not just strategic but are then created into ideas that bring both top line and bottom line growth and last but not the least you become leaders which is very tough you know i run a media company we do awards we live in the era of you know one wanting to prove that he or she is better than the other we live for vanity i watched this movie one among the few movies i watched twice called devil's advocate it says human beings are driven by only two emotions guilt 
and vanity. I'm better than you. You know, I have a better car. I have a better home. I know more than you. So the day you're able to come to terms with both guilt and vanity, uh, I think you'll be better human beings and better leaders. I want to end by saying that the three C's that all of us must shun are criticism, complaining, and comparison. We all do it. It's not easy to bring it down to zero. But if we can minimize that, we can be better leaders and better human beings. And we must embrace the three H's. Humility. The higher we go, even after winning the award, I think you have more responsibility to be humble. Uh, second is hope. I as an individual always believe to, tomorrow will be better than today. I work towards it. I live my life like that. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm not saying it. It's something that I'm saying on a stage. Third is hard work. I believe in hard work, though my wife keeps telling me, Anurag, you should work smartly. So I don't know the difference. I know only how to work hard and how to delegate. That is, for me, smart work is delegation. I delegate a lot and that creates fulfillment. So I wish you luck in your endeavor to be CEOs, uh, to be in entrepreneurs, to be entrepreneurs. We at BW people want to be a community that is a leader community. We know we have a way to go, but in the next few months, you'll see us upping the quality of content we do in all format, whether print, online, or video. You'll see us doing more initiatives, which will be of some meaningful value to your professional roles. I wish you luck. And I want to tell you, we at BW Business World uh, are a multi-platform, 360-degree media platform. And we've built communities, while Business World is B2C, we built 27 B2B communities in various sectors. And 12 of those sectors, we are unchallenged leaders, like hospitality, like legal, I would go on. So we look forward to embracing uh, what you do, learn from you, and play a meaningful role in your life. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you to our jury members and our jury chair, Mr. Rungta, uh, to be able to spend time and select these winners. The winners have been selected through a robust process of screening, of presentation, and editorial integrity. Today's winners will also be showcased in, a, in, in the print issue of BW People and the print issue of BW Business World. My colleague Sugandh is here and other editorial colleagues are here. Sugandh is the lead on BW People. She'll be able to record your bites, engage with you, and make sure that you are featured in the magazine. I wish you luck and look forward to celebrating your achievements and your future journey. Thank you. God bless you.